Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll be seeing about BEC 405A8051 microcontroller of module 2. So your module 2 consists of 8051 addressing modes. So you will be completely studying about the addresses, different addresses available in the microcontroller. So for that, first you need to know the instruction set, that is the addressing modes, data transfer function, arithmetic instruction, logical, jump and call instruction, stack and subroutine instructions of 8051. Along with this theory part, you will also be seeing and dealing with some assembly language programming related with these data transfer instructions addressing modes. So moving on into the topic, in this mode set of video, you will be seeing about the addressing modes. So there are different addressing modes in your 8051 microcontroller. First is immediate addressing mode. Second is register addressing. Third is direct addressing. Fourth is indirect addressing. Fifth is indexed addressing. So we'll be seeing all these addressing modes in detail with an example. So moving on to the first addressing, that is the immediate addressing. So here your 8051 is completely supporting several addressing modes that can determine how the operands can be accessed. That is if I tell I am going to move a value from one to one register to the other register. Now how I am going to place the operands in the place of the instruction. So that will be detailedly or it will be detailedly written and reported by your addressing mode. So these all modes determine how your CPU retrieves the data for the operation. So here in addressing modes that is immediate addressing what happens is the operand will be a constant value that is 35H, 25H. So this will be the constant value that can be included in the instruction. So here in this instruction, you can see there is a symbol hash. So this hash symbol is used for immediate data. That is you are determining that this constant value that is this constant data has to be immediately moved to the register. So now what happens is when it is an immediate function, the last instruction that is pointing DPTR data pointer using this, it points to the external data memory location. Now DPTR will point to some memory location where it has to be stored. So in the first instruction, you can see the immediate data 35H. You can see that this is the operand where it has been immediately moved to the A register and the register accumulator stores the value 35. Here 25, this is an operand where it is immediately moved to the R1 register. So here you can use any kind of general purpose register when determining move A, R1, R2, R3 till R7. And now next is register addressing. So here in this addressing mode, the operand will be the register in the microcontroller. So here in immediate, it was a value. Here in register, it is a register value that will be the operand. In register addressing mode, the source and the destination data should be present only in the register. Only in the register and means R0 to R7. So the operand will be located in any of the general purpose register and it specify which register to use that is your R1 to R7 and this mode is actually efficient for the data that is already been stored in the register. So here register addressing add A comma R2. So you have a value in R2. It doesn't mean that R2 is moved to A. It means this is a register and this register will have a value in it. Say suppose this register is having 10H. That is the value that has been stored in R2. So that value will be moved to A register. The same way this R1 will have one particular value. That value will be moved to the accumulator. Yes. So moving, moving to the next addressing, direct addressing. So here the operand will be the address of the memory location. So it is not the value that is specified. So here when you see 20H, 40H, the same is available here in immediate addressing, the same sort of value, 35H, 25H. It doesn't mean that this is the value. 
this is the addressing address of the memory location where your data has been stored that is 20h is your address in that address there is a value and that value will be moved to the port so in this mode the source and destination address will be specified using 8 bit data in the instruction so either only the internal data memory can be used and the first instruction will send the content of the register to the ports so here port 0 or port 1 will be used now when you see move p1 comma 20h so here this is the memory location the uh, where it is pointing 20h is a memory location and this memory location will have a value in it and that particular value will be moved to p1 that is port 1 now move a comma 40h so 40h is the memory location and the value in the 40h will be loaded into a moving on to the next addressing that is indirect addressing so here in this the operand is the register which will be containing the address of the data so now you, you can see at or not it doesn't mean that at or not doesn't mean that it is the register addressing because in register addressing also you specify the registers but here there you directly specify the register here you are using at symbol it means it is indirectly denoting the register where the data is being stored so now move a comma at or not is nothing but at or not is the register where your value is stored from that register or not you are transferring the value to the accumulator understood the same way move a comma r0 if it is r0 r1 to r8 register any can be used that particular value will be moved to a register that is how it is specifying so here the operand address is directly encoded in the instruction byte next is indexed addressing indexed addressing is nothing but here the operand is the sum of the register and an offset value so here you can see sum of the register plus the operand value or offset value you call it as offset value so here in this addressing mode the source memory can only access the program memory so the destination operand is always the register a so when it is always register a the destination then it is indexed addressing so this mode is a combin it combines some 8 bit constant with the register that is it can be dptr or any other register general purpose register the constant will be added to the content of the register to get the final addressing say for example here you have move a comma 10 h plus dptr so here you are moving the value from the memory location that is 10 h bytes beyond that you are adding the value with dptr and that has been moved to the a register so here you can see 20 h plus r2 it is loading the accumulator with the value stored in the memory location 20 h with the value adding the value r2 so 20 h is the memory location that value plus the value in the register both are added together and that particular value will be moved to the accumulator so hope you have understood the different addressing modes and examples with it how to represent it Stay tuned for more information. Thank you.